With availability of DDR5 memory having improved massively over the past few months, you can now actually buy a high speed, high performance kit from your chosen vendor. In this review, we're examining the latest team group offering. That is the T-Force Delta RGB set of memory that comes in black or white form and with varied specifications. The specific set that we have is white colored and operates at 6400 MHz CL40 for its two 16 gigabyte modules. Let's take a closer look at this high speed set of DDR5 memory. Team Group's spec for the T-Force Delta RGB kit that we have here are impressive. This is a DDR5 kit running at 6400MHz XMP 3.0 frequency. It's a dual channel 2x16GB 32GB set of modules. And timings are 40, 40, 40, 84 at one35 volts. The set uses SK Hynix ICs under the heat spreader according to CPU-Z. We can't give you any more details on that though unfortunately because Typhoon Burner still doesn't seem to work with DDR5 memory and the Z690 platform. Also worth pointing out is that you get a thermal sensor on the modules and that's very handy for reading the temperature of the kit in software such as hardware monitor for example. In terms of styling, Team Group has gone for a clean angular aesthetic. We get an angled heat spreader that can be coloured black or white, so it's white in our case. There's plenty of writing on the side of the modules highlighting the product name. And the jet black PCB that is barely visible underneath offers an appealing contrast. I would describe the module design as sensible and reasonably unobtrusive for a high speed modern kit of RGB memory. At around 46 to 47 millimeters tall at the peak, the height is not unreasonable and not too bad when it comes to CPU cooler interference. Coloured lighting is handled by several LED zones on top of the Delta RGB modules. This light then disperses through a plastic diffuser bar for a smooth and graduated colour gradient. I think the team group does a good job with the RGB's visual appearance and the quality of the lighting. The brightness is a clear strength and the fact that the diffuser bar is visible from the side, not just from above the heat spreader, that will appeal to many. But that's my opinion on the RGB lighting setup. What are your thoughts on it? Let us know in the comment section down below. In terms of RGB management, Team Group has gone for my personal preferred approach, so that's hands off and leave it to the motherboard vendor. So you're gonna have to use your motherboard vendor software to control and synchronize this kit. So of course that's Asus, Gigabyte, Biostar, ASRock and MSI, all the big go-to brands. Pricing of this 32 gigabyte, 6400 MHz CL40 variant of the Team Group T-Force Delta RGB DDR5 is very high in the UK currently at around £449.99 on Overclockers UK. That is very expensive for a 2x16GB kit of DDR5 memory. And that's particularly pertinent when 6000 to 6200 MHz kits from competitors such as Corsair are well over £100 cheaper, or somewhere in the order of £100 cheaper, even if you're looking at Dominator Platinum RGB, so super premium memory. In the US, Team Group's pricing is far more reasonable at $349.99 US dollars on Amazon, though this could be a temporary price decrease from $440 US dollars. Mid 300s is comparable to the likes of G Skill Trident Z5 RGB, so Team Group is positioning themselves against some other premium kits from premium vendors. So Team Group is notably more expensive for its 6400MHz DDR5 memory in the UK, but 6.4GHz memory is very high end and it commands a price premium anyway. Plus it's difficult to come by and there's not all that much competition so if you really want super high speed memory like this you're just going to have to stomach the price increase versus 6200 or 6000 megahertz kits. You'll just have to do it. Our test system is built around the Core i9-12900K processor and an Asus Z690 DDR5 motherboard, as well as an NVIDIA RTX 3080 graphics card. We've got comparison data from a 32 gigabyte set of Corsair Dominator Platinum 5200 MHz CL36 memory. This kit uses Micron A-spec ICs and currently retails for £310 on the Corsair website in the UK. We also compare versus a 6000 MHz C36 32 gigabyte kit of G-Skill Trident Z5 RGB memory 
and this set currently sells for around £420 in the UK. So it's actually quite a reasonable price competitor versus this team group set. As always, if you want more details on our test procedures, test systems, the benchmarks we're running, then firstly check out our previous video reviews of some of the comparison memory kits on the KitGuru YouTube channel, and also make sure you check out the main written review on the KitGuru website. Let's jump into the test numbers. Memory bandwidth scores very favorably on the team group kit thanks to the lofty 6400 MHz operating frequency. That performance bump versus even G-Skill's 6 GHz kit is sizable. There isn't too much latency penalty from the CL40 timings either. This is because the 6400 MHz operating frequency looks to be making up for the slacker timings versus the competing sets. Performance in Cinebench R23 NT is basically the same across the board. Team group positions slightly behind G-Skill, but the numbers are close enough to be considered a draw. Basically, any of these kits will be fine for a Cinebench-style rendering workload, and Blender shows a similar trend, albeit with the team group set being technically quicker by a rather inconsequential margin. No complaints with the performance on display in 7-Zip, particularly in terms of compression performance, the high-frequency T4 set does well versus G-Skill's tight 6GHz Triton Z5 RGB. It's all very close in the 3D Mark CPU profile test, so we wouldn't choose any particular kit of memory based on these results. TimeSpy, however, is more favorable to the highly clocked team group set and rewards this 6.4 GHz kit with a top place finish in our chart. Running F1 2020 at 1080p, G-Scale and its Samsung-based modules show the fastest frame rates in our test system. This 6400 MHz SK Hynix-based set from team group is demoted to second place by a small average FPS margin. Switching up to Shadow of the Tomb Raider though, sees the T-Force Delta RGB memory leverage its greater clock speed and sit at the top of our chart. We also see a reasonable gain versus alternative DDR4 memory kits, albeit with those sets being much cheaper to buy. For gaming, the Team Group T-Force Delta RGB 6400MHz CL40 kit is strong and manages to contend nicely with G-Skill's highly regarded Trident Z5 RGB competitor. Already running at 1.35 volts under the XMP conditions, we weren't all that keen on pushing memory voltage higher when seeing how far we could overclock the Team Group kit. Unfortunately though, not even a bump up to 6600MHz DRAM frequency was possible without pushing the voltage higher, so we kind of had to suck it up and deal with a voltage bump up to 1.40 volts within the Asus UEFI. The best overclock that we managed to achieve was 6600 MHz with stock timings at 1.4 volts. This is a reasonable speed bump of 200 MHz over the already lofty out of the box frequency. Thankfully, Team Group's smart decision to include a temperature sensor will give some information as to whether the 1.4 volt operating voltage is reasonable for long term usage. When reviewing a high speed premium set of memory, performance often comes in as the most important metric. Thankfully for Team Group, Strong performance is clearly associated with the T-Force Delta RGB DDR5 set of 32GB 6400MHz memory. Even in game-based situations such as Shadow of the Tomb Raider and 3D Mark Time Spy, this high-frequency set does well. And the competition versus G-Skill's 6GHz kit in our charts is apt, as there isn't too much pricing difference between these sets. So that's another good point for Team Group's offering. Styling is very good in my opinion, and I really like the white heat spreaders on you. I think that's a nice clean aesthetic that is a nice contrast against the black PCB. The RGB lighting bar is also good to my eyes. I was happy with the brightness levels, the granularity of the colours was positive, and control through motherboard vendor software remains my preference. I guess one area of styling that's a little bit questionable is the angular heat spreader design with respect to module height. Now this kind of V-shaped angle does increase the peak module height, which in turn limits your CPU cooler compatibility. It's not a big deal, but it is something to bear in mind because it's not an overly efficient height design from that perspective. Clearly the biggest issue with the Team Group T-Force Delta RGB DDR5 set of memory in this 6.4 GHz form is the pricing. At £450 current availability in the UK, this is a ludicrous price point for a 32GB set of DDR5. Team Group really is expecting buyers to pay a hefty premium to get that 6.4 GHz rated clock, even versus 6 and 6.2 GHz competent memory. In the US, the current Amazon pricing of $350 is much more palatable, but whether that's a temporary price or the actual going rate is kind of to be seen. So I think we can summarize this nicely by saying that the Team Group T-Force Delta RGB DDR5 set of memory 
delivers excellent performance at that 6.4 gigahertz rated frequency and the aesthetics are very good too particularly with this white set that is a personal favorite of mine the pricing however is extremely high in the uk not so bad in the us but very high in the uk so you really will have to value that 6.4 gigahertz xmp frequency to take the stomach punch of a 450 pound wallet deduction that's quite a bit but if you're a hardened enthusiast perhaps it's worth it let me know in the comment section down below what you think about that point i've been luke hill for kit group thank you for watching our video review of the team group t-force delta rgb ddr5 memory in this white form let us know what you think in the comment section down below Are you pretty impressed by that performance is the price a bit high in the uk what do you think of the aesthetics comment section down below as always, if you like this video, do all that YouTube stuff, so like, subscribe, follow the channel. Make sure you check out the written review on the Kicker webpage, that really helps us out. Interact with us on social media, so Discord and the other platforms. Buy a cool t-shirt like this one, and I'll catch you next time.